guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and having a good day so in today's video i'm going to show you how i've went and taken my hair from this to this this is the way that i've been doing my hair lately guys and loads of you have been asking me what it is that i'm doing so i'm going to show you today the products that i use and also the styling tool that i'm using to create this really easy curl that lasts until i wash it the next time it's a really nice loose wave also looks nice when the hair's up it just feels nice and bouncy and it is weather defying because obviously as you know i live in scotland and every time i pick the kids up from school it seems to rain but my hair stays the same once it dries anyway so i thought i'd share with you what i do to get my hair like this since those of you have asked and my light is clean with me um, but yeah let's get into it i really hope you enjoy if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and let's get to it so i'm going to be using the t3 hair styler now this is a hair styler that's pretty popular in america i did buy it after seeing a few of my american vlogger girls on instagram talking about how they get that really nice sort of soft household hair that seems to last until they wash it i don't use an awful lot of heat in my hair on a sort of like daily basis but whenever i do these curls everyone always asks me what we've done to your hair. This is a very different type of hair tong from quite a few that I've had in the past. Now this one is interchangeable and that was one of the reasons that drew me to buying it in the first place a couple of years ago. So you literally just twist this round here and it removes the barrel. I'm using this one today which is just a straight barrel wand but you can get ones that have a clip like this one. This is a bigger barrel that actually came with this particular hair tong this is the one i bought it with which gives you more of a sort of bigger bouncier type of hairstyle more like a blow dry and then i also have another two which look like they should do the same job but they really don't i've got this one here which is kind of like broader at the bottom and then it goes on to like a sort of tapered tip then this one here which does the opposite and this one gives you more of a sort of like do you remember the Olsen twins had that sort of like towsley type of beachy hair that's what this one gives you and this one actually goes into tighter curls but yeah as I say the technique that I use is to keep the hair flat to the iron whereas sometimes if you actually with this one let your hair start to ravel round and sort of like spiral as you go around this I'll show you what I mean once we start and um, it can give you a completely different look so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Like I say, this is the T3 wand. I did have to get it and get a converter to make it into a UK plug point, but you don't have to do that anymore because they do sell the UK compatible ones. And then on the actual wand itself, it's got different heat settings. So this can go really, really hot. I'm unsure of the exact temperature it goes up to. I want to say it's like 240 degrees maybe um, but I actually keep mine on a level 3 because it is very 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 hot um, and it's always worthwhile making sure that the lock is switched over as well so that's it obviously unlocked and then that's it locked um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out I'm going to go ahead and take the top section up and the good thing about this is it's such a quick and easy hairstyle so just taking each section of my hair split it down the back and this is getting really hot now and you'll know that it is fully heated up to your temperature once it stays still so these lights will appear constantly on and what I tend to do is I'll take a section kind of a big section to be honest and I hold the barrel pointing downwards right that's the main thing because otherwise if you hold it like this you get all tangled at the bottom so I point it at the opposite side of my face downwards and then taking each section I start off near the top and I don't let it start to ravel up. I keep the hair flat to the iron so you kind of have to hold it at the end and you'll see there's some heat coming off it just now. And then once I've held that for a couple of seconds I just let go. You can pin this or you can just give it a little squeeze just until it sort of cools down and you're left with a little ring like that. So I'm going to continue round my hair doing the same thing taking similar size sections brushing them out hold the barrel upside down and keep the hair flat so what I mean by that is sometimes what people do is they hold it and they just keep raveling it around and you notice how that gets quite thick at the bottom I don't want it like that I want it to be flat to the iron so so keeping it flat like this and then again just literally let it go and the good thing about this is it's quite a slippy barrel it's not really sort of like tugging on your hair and again just leave that to cool down and I'll just continue that whole side and then the other side until I've got all of the little ringlets that I need 
and on a busy day this can take me about five minutes to do it's so simple but it is a lot of heat so if you ever want to turn it down you can always press and hold the barrel and it'll change the temperature There's no need to complicate things Let's stay, let's stick to the basics We both know what we want Let's just keep it simple Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah We dance on the same wavelength This feels like a new beginning We both know what we want Let's just keep it simple is both sides done very very curly moving on to the top section I tend to split my hair down the center for this I feel like a center parting for this is the best just because it just sits the nicest but each section you'll notice that I take the barrel behind the hair and then I wrap it backwards so that it sits off of my face I just think that's the most flattering for this kind of hairstyle so again just wrap it all the way around and you want to continue that for both sides my hair is like an Irish dancing wig but what I'm going to do is start off at the bottom of this side because this is the kind of side that's been cooling down for longest. I just go through the ends and just brush them through to make them just nice and soft. You can also use a wide tooth comb for this or you could just use your hands just to keep your fingers nice and wide and shake through the curls. I also like to try and lift the hair up at the root and give it a wee shake as well because that's sort of naturally how the curls are going to fall. And you also gain a bit of length when you do that as well. Once the curls start to fall a little bit, you get a bit of length back. But I just love the movement and the curl and the texture you get using that particular barrel. So again, I'll just do it to the other side. You can, of course, leave this for as long as you want to. You can go and do your makeup and then come back to it and then give it a shake out or you could just leave it and then once you get to work or whatever you can give it a shake. Play about with it until you're happy with the positioning and then you want to stick through some products. And so product wise I'll take something like this, this is a L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil and um, it's a heat protector as well which is great and it's suitable for all hair types so I just take some of that onto my hands, massage it in and then I'll take it through the sort of ends and this just gives it a little bit of extra definition and some shine and then using the got to be glued hairspray I'm going to give it a little hold up I'll hold it up a little bit and then give it a spray just to give it some extra volume and that's how I do it and really really quick and easy and the barrel itself the fact that you can add to it means it's a really good investment so if anyone does want to go and get the t3 i'll leave it below in the description the cheapest one that i can find and like i say you can add several different barrels there's more than this you can add a straightener to it as well so definitely a really good investment piece but i really hope you enjoyed watching this you guys if you did then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you don't already follow me on instagram head over there because i'll also make a real version of this so that you can watch it in faster time if you want to see the little technique that i use for getting this curl so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye